Hey Browns fans, Nathan Zagura here with the Browns tight end position preview edition of the two minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals. Now you know Kevin Stefanski loves to use the tight ends and now I think the offense will evolve this year. We might see fewer three tight end formations, but they will still be a big part of what the Browns do on offense and there will be no bigger piece in this room than the Chief. That's right, the Chief era has begun. David Njoku, the clear number one tight end on this team, the former first round pick signing a four year contract extension worth a reported more than $50 million. This is his time, this is his chance and I feel very confident that the Chief will seize this opportunity. Chief is coming off of a 2021 season where he caught 36 passes for 475 yards, averaging 13.2 yards per catch, and he had a team high four receiving touchdowns. But you have to dive a little deeper to see the impact now that he is the guy. In four games last year with five or more targets, he had 16 catches for 289 yards and two touchdowns. Just go ahead and extrapolate that out over 16 games, and now we get 17. That's over 1,000 yards receiving and eight touchdowns on the year and I think the Chief has a chance to be one of the premier pass catching tight ends in the NFL and that's why he was compensated but also because of his improvement as a blocker he has become one of the best blocking tight ends in the NFL and you know that is key for what the Browns like to do especially on the ground. Backing up the Chief will be Harrison Bryant. The former fourth round pick back in 2020 has caught exactly three touchdowns in each of his first two seasons in the NFL but like the Chief he is set for his role to expand. He's moving up the ladder Last year was the third tight end. This year, he will be the second tight end. He is an excellent route runner. He has good hands. He's improved as a blocker. And this will be the year where I think he will have career highs in terms of snaps played, targets, catches, yards, touchdowns. This is a big break forward year, I think, for Harrison Bryant entering his third season. Now behind Harrison Bryant and the Chief, it's kind of wide open for the Browns. And this is a team, as we said, they like to have a lot of tight ends. Tight ends not only in the offense, tight ends on special teams as well for Mike Prefer. So who are some of the names to know? We'll start with Miller Forrestal. Forrestal stands 6'5 and weighs 245 pounds, an undrafted free agent out of Alabama who originally signed with the Tennessee Titans. He spent some time on the Browns practice squad and the active roster in 2021, appearing in two games with 11 snaps and no stats. However, he has had a nice spring and has been working as the team's third tight end thus far in the early portion of the offseason. And as we always say, let's see how that transfers into training camp when the pads come on. Giving Forrest all competition for that third tight end spot is Johnny Stanton. Now he's part fullback, but also part tight end. That's where he spent a lot of time, and I know he has had a good spring. A very dedicated blocker, he comes from being a fullback, but also a guy who could catch the ball back in college. Not only did Stanton play fullback, he played quarterback and tight end. And so Stanton brings a very diverse skill set. As Kevin Stefanski says, he's a real Swiss army knife for the Browns. And he has a history of playing some tight end for the Browns back in the preseason. Last year against the Giants, when the Browns were depleted at the tight end spot, Stanton played there. Two targets, two catches, 33 yards. So we'll have to show some of that to make this football team. But don't forget, he's a guy who actually played last year for the Browns and put up some stats. Stanton appeared last season in three games. He had three carries for five yards, but two catches for seven and a touchdown, as you recall, in Thursday night against the Denver Broncos. So those right now, I would say, are the top four, but we have a group of three young men competing to try to make this roster or to make the practice squad that you need to know about. Perhaps the most noteworthy is Marco Santos Silva, the young man who played basketball at VCU and Texas Tech, but got the call to continue his career as an athlete as a football player, something he did not do in college. And so the Browns gave him an opportunity as an undrafted free agent. Now, Santo Silva is very familiar with Mo Ali Cox, and that's a name probably very familiar to you guys. He is the starting tight end for the Indianapolis Colts. Went to VCU, played basketball, didn't play football, and now has gone on to have a very successful career. So they're in touch. Santo Silva, you can see the athletic gifts. They stand out. Natural catcher of the football, knows how to high point it. He was a rebounder in college, a power forward. So he's a guy that is a very intriguing prospect, and we've seen numerous players around the league go from playing college basketball to being successful tight ends in the NFL. Joining Santo Silva in that quest to make an impression and make this roster or the practice squad, we have Nakia Griffin-Stewart, 6'5", 287, a former undrafted free agent out of Pitt who spent time with numerous teams so far in the NFL and played in one game with the Kansas City Chiefs in 2021 but did not record a stat. And Zaire mitchell Payton, 6'5", 257, an undrafted free agent out of Florida Athletic. 
Bottom line, folks, it's the era of the Chief for the Browns in the tight end room. An opportunity to take a big step for the Chief and Harrison Bryan as well. And then some good battles to be tight end three, four, and to make this roster or the practice squad because this is a team that likes that position. And they have an opportunity to be, I think, not only an explosive run offense, but an explosive pass offense as well with those tight ends getting a lot of work down the middle of the field. For the rest of our Browns position previews, be sure to check out our YouTube page, youtube.com slash Browns. And for the latest news, check out clevelandbrowns.com and, of course, the Browns mobile app. This has been the tight end position preview edition of the 2-Minute Drill brought to you by University Hospitals.